In this video, we look at the trends in production and prices for rare earth minerals. Canadian Mining Report is not a financial advisor. This video is for informational purposes only and does not constitute investment advice. Through most of the 2010s, China completely dominated the global production of rare earth minerals, reaching as high as 100% of output in 2012 and averaging 90% from 2010 to 2018. However, with a broader rise in global trade protectionism over the past several years, including China recently banning the export of some rare earth processing technology, other countries have increased rare earth production to ensure secure supply and risen to 35% of average production from 2019 to 2023, with China at just 65%. The largest new producer is the U.S., which had been a major player in previous decades, but had closed its only major mine, Mountain Pass, in 2022, leading to China's eventual dominance in the industry. However, the mine was reopened in 2018 and is the country's only rare earth mine. The second largest is Myanmar, but this supply is not globally accessible as it's almost all exported to China. Australia is the third largest with output at less than half the U.S. and Myanmar in 2023. There are also a few smaller producers, with Thailand the largest of this group, with India and Russia output at similar levels, with output from Vietnam and Brazil currently limited. However, both Vietnam and Brazil have huge reserves, at about half the level of the global leader China, and therefore could become major producers long term. Canada's rare earth reserves are relatively small in a global context, at the 10th largest. However, using resources instead, which have a slightly less stringent requirement to define economic viability than reserves, Canada jumps to the fourth largest globally at 14 million tons, up from just 800,000 tons using reserves. Given that it's by far the most politically secure source for the US of the top five by resources, this should give considerable incentive for large North American investment in Canada's rare earth sector. The country is already developing several projects for raw rare earth production, but just as importantly, processing capacity with China still controlling 85 to 90 percent of rare earth processing. While the rare earth market is opaque with limited data, Business Analytique has compiled price trends for several of the major rare earth metals from various sources. After surging in 2021 and then plunging in 2022 and into early 2023, the market seems to be recovering. The cerium price has been rising since mid-2023, lanthanum and samarium flattened over second half 2023 and have ticked up in early 2024, and while praseodymium and neodymium hit new lows in January 2024 after reversing gains from mid-2023, they have risen in February 2024. For more on rare earth, other metals, and junior mining stocks, click the link in the description or bio below to go to www.canadianminingreport.com.